Sonic State here at SynthFest 2022, and we are here with one of our favorites of the entire world, Yanis from Dreadbox. <laughs> Hello, Yanis. Hey, guys. <laughs> now, you've got something quite interesting to show us. Two of the greatest Dreadbox synths have now made a, a reappearance in a new form. Yeah, um, we, are, we, we have Erebus, yeah. um, the best of the best versions, version two. Version two! Yeah, and Hades, the single and only one version available. Because the Hades was a kit, wasn't it? A, a, no, it, no? Was, it was it was an actual unit. Like, okay. yeah, this, it was the same out with uh, Erebus. Mm -hmm. At the same time uh, uh, with the Erebus, um, only like 500 units out. Right. Yeah, they disappeared, and I mean, here they are again. <laughs> So the Hades really, yeah, it's a, it says analog bass synth. Yeah, it's a bass synth. It's a bass synth. Uh, I mean, it is some small tricks to get the a bass boost out, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very, very nice and thick. Uh, but, you know, my favorite here is... My favorite yeah. too, <laughs> the Erebus. Now, what makes this different then, I guess, is the fact it's, a new, it's in a new casing. Gone are the wood sides. Yeah. But now... You can take this out. It's in a Euro rack format. Actually. Euro rack format. Yeah, I mean, the original Erebus was so close to that format right. that made people want to cry because yeah. for like half a millimeter they couldn't place <laughs> it in the. Right. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So what we just did it was we like reinventing the power supply. So you just power with a USB, mm -hmm. uh, simple, and straightforward, and you just remove those four screws and get go get it out in your Euro rack. That's uh, great. Case. Yes, yeah. So, uh, so. USB is just power then. Yeah, yeah. Because we have well, MIDI still yeah, on the Yeah, you use a, a, a MIDI input uh, like uh, Jack here, and the output is here also because, yeah, you know, it's a Eurac format. You have to get of it. Of course. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, of course. For, yeah. On the front panel. Which is, by the way, also for headphones too. So it's, I mean, it's practical. Um, mm. Generally, it's ninety-eight percent the same thing. The That's only difference here yeah. is. Uh, we, we use a different uh, oscillator approach to be more stabilized and never go out of tune. Still analog, of course. Um, and that's it. I mean, if yep. you compare it side to side, mm -hmm. you'd probably say, this sounds better oh, than the previous oh, one. I would never get rid of my, of my Mark II. Uh, no, no, me, <laughs> me neither. I mean, but, you know. Uh, okay, so, um, so then the Mark, the version three, this has now replaced the version three. This, I suppose, is the version four, but it's actually the version two. It's actually the version two. Yeah. It's version two, just in, a, in, in another in, format. In a new, it's it's the same format. thing. Okay. I mean, yeah. that's it. Mm -hmm. We stopped version three because we had a chip shortage issue. Right. Um, same habit, I mean, with many other units we were making, the Nixved version two was yeah. stopped for chip shortage. Uh, what a shame. Yeah, we have. We stopped so many products because of that. Yeah. Which, anyway, I mean, yeah. it is what it is. No, but, but this is an interesting evolution. The fact then that this works as a standalone unit and also can then be racked as well. And the same with the Hades. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. So, what can I say? I mean, if I had the original one, I would just probably play it just for your comparison. Yeah. Uh, but we should we should hear a little bit of the Arab or so yeah. as a reminder of what a juicy, lovely synth. Yeah, it is. I mean, let's play an Arab. Yeah. There you go. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. No, it's that juicy. For me, it's what an analog synth should yeah, sound like. It, it has this thing. Juicy. Yeah, I mean, as you raise the resonance up, the bass goes up. So you actually get bass in the resonance. Yeah. Yeah. The monitor can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. The monitor crackles and you know, handle the bass. Oh yeah. And as you turn it down, you lose the bass. It's 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 the other way around. Yeah. I mean, it had that thing. Um, I, I use it everywhere. Yeah. I just have an Erebus on my setup all the time. 
version 2. Version 2. <laughs> yeah, and now I just, you know, replace it because it's more stable, more more than... I mean, it's it's the, 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 the same thing. It's so, um, so in terms of then the the, the dread the dreadbox uh, the dreadbox range then um, the uh, the nymphers uh, and, and, and uh, they're still and uh, they're still going to be current in the yeah yeah, yeah. We, we we can we can supply nymphers. Uh, we have a slight issue with typhons. We're working on it. Uh, I, I mean, up to the date, iPhone is our top seller. Uh, one of my favorites also. Um, but you know, with the chip shortage, we're trying to, to keep the supply. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have the Typhon, the Nymphes, Hades, Erebus, and uh, of course the uh, the chromatic modules, the chromatic modules, yeah. the most colorful modules in Eurorack. Yeah, and some things I cannot talk about that's coming up yeah. pretty soon. Uh -huh. Uh, and maybe we can show them on our next show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, can you? You can. So there, there is new stuff coming, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Yeah, you can play them with one hand. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a clue. Yeah. Um, okay, Yanis, thanks very much for showing us this. And, Thank uh, you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah. yeah. Thanks.